So as I mentioned upstairs, which actually I probably end up reshooting that since um, my camera uh, battery is full. But anyhow, so we're doing a, a Tesla wall connector installer and I'm basically having to run the 6.2 line. I've chosen to go with 6.2 because I'm not doing a NEMA connector. I'm actually just wiring it, uh, hard wiring it straight to the uh, Tesla wall connector. So what I've decided to do in order to make room on my panel, as you can see, there's a lot of breakers uh, because we've installed some additional things, but uh, basically I'm gonna collapse two 20 amp breakers into a duplex breaker. So we have a 20 amp here for this guy. Then we have a 20 amp breaker for my sump pump. Well, I don't have a sump pump, it, which it doesn't really matter, but anyhow, I'm gonna uh, take this guy, or we'll take these two guys out and, and pop this one breaker in and replace that. Uh, the very first thing you wanna do is kill the power. It's about to go black. Uh, definitely make sure you cut power before you start. Cause otherwise, I can assure you, you will not finish if you don't. So you wanna start by disconnecting the wires running into your breaker. All right, so you gotta pop this breaker out. And then we're gonna pop this, not, not that one, but that one. All right, so again, we're gonna pop this breaker in. So I had to run, run out the lows and grab a new breaker. So the breaker I had, I didn't really, um, when I snagged it out, I, I didn't make, this, uh, make sure that it was uh, missing the piece that was blocking it. So this particular Mary's box I have is uh, requires the breaker that doesn't have this bar right here. So, you know, as I was saying, you know, to, to install it, pretty much all you have to do is catch that lip, which some of you may have already done this before. So there's no big deal for you. Push it in there. Make sure it's snug. All right. And then let's go ahead and rewire these guys back up the way that they were wired. So we'll put that guy there and then my other oh. wire. I had a bender. Oh shit, I'm sorry. Why'd you bend it? Because it was in the way. Yeah, no, no, no. All right, so we've done that. So now we're gonna install the big breaker. the 60 amp. So we're not going to uh, install those these wires. Take this guy. Thanks, June. That's my son, Mr. Weatherman. What's your YouTube name? June Long. So bright. This June thing. Long. Yeah, you bl you've been blinding me. So, <laughs> but anyhow, so uh, as you can see, here's here's the way this is laid out currently. So I'm gonna go and run these wires. Pretty much. From here, all the way down that floor joist, which actually I'm gonna catch, which one? This one right here. See that uh, wire right there? So I'm gonna catch that guy all the way down and my basement is a mess, don't judge me. So I'm gonna catch that and I'm gonna come over here and it's gonna go up through. Uh, actually, uh, right, oh, there it is. Right there, the one where the insulation is missing. So basically we're gonna come down from right there where that light is at, we're gonna come all the way down and then we're gonna cut across and then we're gonna, we're gonna go in right there that's going to take me right underneath the uh 
the floor where between but between the wall and then I'm gonna pull that wire up I'm, well, I'm gonna send it up the 6-2 send it up and then pull it through the wall so I kind of got busy <laughs> and then I was like oh shoot I'm supposed to be making a video so uh, I'm at the point now to where I'm going to drill a hole here into the floor so I can bring the wire up through the wall so um, let me show you. So as you can see those holes right there, I started, but my drill isn't fully powered. So I stopped and said, you know what? Let me go ahead and put a wall, put a hole up through this wall so that I can finish with, I got, I got, uh, one, two, three, I like four more holes. I gotta, I gotta get drilled. But, uh, nonetheless, I, I just gotta get this guy get a hole here so this right here should take me up through the um through the uh floor between the walls exterior and interior so um my goal is to get that hole there and then pull the wire through all right let me keep moving so as you can see i've actually Put the hole here. And yeah, the next thing I'm I'm going to do is worry about getting the wire fed up uh, through that hole. So I'm here in the garage and uh, I've marked off where I want to cut into the wall. And pretty much what I did was marked it in the in the in um in the inside on the floor there so I mark from there to here so that's exactly 29 inches and yes I went from 29 29 inches from here to here This is just not cutting it, guys. That right there, that, that charger is so slow. So as you can see, I've made an outline right here for my box. So pretty much I'm gonna have my cables come up through this box and I'm gonna mount the box to the stud that runs, runs right here. So I'm gonna uh, screw this box to the stud and then I'm going to have the wires come up through here and um yeah yeah that's what i'm doing now i'm about to check this hole okay all right guys so what you see is the wires uh the six three or six two i mean is 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 up so next next phase is putting the box on all right, guys. As, as, so as you can see, there's a. As you can see, guys. <clears throat> uh, that's the Tesla owner. You want me to? I'm gonna show you what no, you're no, thinking. Of. As you can see, guys, we are getting or preparing to install. We are installing a 240, right? 240 volt yeah, sure. um, Tesla wall charger. Um, <clears throat> there's the pipe. Go ahead. Oh, I don't know about so, that. <laughs> so, as you can see, uh, we have it pulled out. And then there's the pipe. So, we're running 6-2. So, I put the pipe in there just so that uh, if, um, for whatever reason, <clears throat> someone was doing work and they went to cut uh, or do something for whatever. If, if they didn't think, it, it's really just protect the wire. That's all. But, um, yeah, so I'm getting ready to put these guys in. All right. All right guys, so we're getting closer and closer. So I had to go in at an angle right here. And yeah, so now what I'm gonna do is pull this guy out, screw in, and yeah, go from there. All right guys, so this is where we're currently at. We got the box uh, screwed in to the stud. This is my helper, Mr. Weatherman. I'm sorry, what, what's your, the weather guy? Just, 
June Long. Okay, June Weatherman. Long. Weatherman. So uh, he he has a lot of interesting videos talking about weather and some other stuff. But okay, so yeah, so the next phase of this project for me is going to be running the wire to the circuit breaker uh, box. So I've got it ran. So I did cut it a little short. That's it right there, but I did cut it a little short. I say cut it a little short. I did uh, end up, um, I, I got less than what I should have got. I wanted it to come all the way down to this last breaker, but we'll make some adjustments. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. All right. So as you can see, I pulled it, pulled it through the breaker box, through the uh, through the pipe, plumbed it through, piped it through. I mean. So now, um, so so as I said, I had to improvise. So pretty much the breaker was down here. I slid all the breakers down, which somebody's probably gonna tell me no, don't do it that way, or something along those lines. I'm sure. Uh, I'll put a new label on my uh, cover in a, in a few days or whenever I get uh, the time. But but yeah, so now I'm getting ready to put these guys in. The first thing I'm going to do is is, is uh, go ahead and, and put this one in, and then I'll do do the last two steps or the last screw, the last two in. All right, guys. So I finally I finally got it in there. these two lines here all right so let's fire this puppy up that is not where you want your hands come on up come on back thanks for the help so he's my apprentice for the day hold this we gotta do with these old ones what those ones that are house right. on them. Hey. No sparks. Alright y'all. I've opened this thing and let's see what's in here. Yeah. Let me actually read these instructions. So, let's see. That. Here's some screws and fit. Ah, that's probably what I'm looking for, isn't it? Alright, so that guy's probably the last guy. All right, guys, so I'm getting ready to mount this plate. This plate, so what I did was uh, grab my level because I wanted to make sure that it was level, so I'm about to do a bootleg, uh, put it in a wall. And... There we go, there it is, it's lined up. So I've placed the low profile mounting bracket onto the wall and then I screwed in the top bolts but uh, I still have to do the, the bottoms. So now we have this left. So I use the top hole which I think is a sensor hole or something. Uh, I just prefer to use that one instead of the other one. So you'll need to adjust the spin dial according to the vehicle that you have. I set mine to nine because we have a Model 3. To, be, to trim these guys and then turn around and put them into their respective places. All right, guys, so 
I've installed the wires. As you can see. And now it's time to put the plate on. So the last thing I'm gonna do is connect this connector. And yeah. All right guys, so I just finished the install. I've, um, well kind of almost finished it. I gotta put the covers on. But I did put this cover on, which is the main cover. Um, the next thing is just obviously just uh, going to be switching the breaker on and seeing what happens. So as you can see, I've switched the breaker on and I got green lights. I got a green light. 